Hello everyone, this is Khalil Shaheen from NCS Training Center. We are a training center located in Toronto, Canada, and we are specialized in Microsoft Dynamics Business Central training. So if you have any request for any training courses for Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, don't hesitate to email me. Today's job subject uh, is covered already in this course, the trade course and the trade course covers all these topics here and one of the topics that we will discuss today and i will show you this in the application is working with sales codes let me jump to the application and i will show you this is uh, my microsoft dynamics business central solution the cloud version of business central and remember that <clears throat> from my settings i'm logging in under sales order processor so i have the menu role tailored to deal with sales order processor role center which means that from here i can create a sales invoice i can create a sales order sales codes I can run my reports very easily. I have easy access to all of these in the menu here. Okay, so we are going to talk today about creating a sales code. To create a sales code, it's very simple. You just click on the plus sign here. And you enter the information for that sales code. For example, I want to create a sales code for this customer, 10,000. Notice here that when you enter the customer number, all the information like the customer name and the customer address and all the other information will, will be validated or entered from the customer card. For example, the payment terms, it will be validated or entered from the customer card the tax area code for example but still i'm able to change it here when i create a new sales code i'm still be able to change the address for example or the payment terms or the due date now after i enter the customer number and i accept the information that is validated like the salesperson code etc I can enter, for example, the code valid to date. For example, this code is valid until the 2nd of April 2020. So anytime the customer codes and you want to confirm that code before that date here, this would be accepted. If there is any requested delivery date, I can enter it here. Like I want this to be delivered on the 7th of February, for example, 2020. If there is a reference number, <coughs> I can enter it here, test 09. If there's any campaign number or opportunity number, I can enter it here. And also you notice here that there's a message that will pop up on the screen if there's anything wrong with this customer. Like here in this example that I gave you, this customer 10,000 has an overdue balance. If I click on show details, it will show you the balance and it will show you that this customer did not pay the due balance yet okay i'll ignore this message for now just to complete my sales code to show you and then i enter the item let me select this item for example 1003 and i will get another error message here or it's not error it's just information message that the shipment date is before the work date because the work date on my setting is this date and the shipment date is 
the 7th of February. So I will accept this message for now. And I enter the quantity here. 10. 10 pieces. And notice here that this information, the unit price will be entered or they dated from the item card this time. The tax area code will be based on the customer information and the tax group code based on the customer information. Now, if there's any line discount that I would like to give to this customer, I can enter it here just to convince the customer that he can proceed with the sales code. So the line discount that I gave for this customer for this item is 5%. And once I'm ready, I can go to process and I can convert this code to an order. So I can deal with this order. In the sales order, I will be able to see this order on the sales order list and then I can take it from there. That's it about creating a sales code. I hope that was useful and I hope that answered your question, Anna. Uh, let me know if you need any more information, but this is how you can convert a sales code to an order. You just click on process, make an order, and then you click on yes and it will be converted to an order this is the order number do you want to open the new order yes i want to open and see the order it takes a second to open the order this is an order here and i still be able to see the the notification message that this customer has an overdue balance i can still proceed with this order and i can ship the order but this is just to inform you that this customer has an overdue balance okay thank you very much for watching and let me know if you require any training courses in microsoft dynamics business center thank you bye